Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the first video in like two years. This is gonna be Noob Programmer Makes Chess with C++. Episode 1? Yeah, it's a devlog, kinda. So, we'll get started. Uh, we're gonna take a look at our classes that I made first. So, first of all, we have our Chess Window class. So first we just we just have the struct. It's um, just for a chess piece. All the data that a chess piece should have. So we have the sprite uh, to draw. We have the piece ID, um, the coordinates of the piece, and whether or not to draw the piece. So piece ID is basically just um, it's just this. So each of these numbers represents a chess piece. So like six is a black pawn. Zero is a white pawn. Uh, etc. Um, so our chess window, yeah. So in our actual window, we also we of course we have our SFML window. Um, we kind of need that. We have our squares. Um, I could just use a singular image for this, but I like it this way. I can change the colors of the squares, and it's it's nice and controllable. We have the rectangle uh, holder, which just holds all the squares. So that way, uh, whenever I scale the window, I don't have to write code to like scale every single square. Instead, I can just scale the holder, uh, and the, the squares will square. Uh, the squares will scale with it. Um, we have the colors of the squares, you know, just because the squares have different colors. We have the textures for the chess pieces. We have our pieces themselves. We have our chess board, which you just saw is this. Um, we have our size of the window. And we have these functions that it just is for scaling kind of so you know fitting the squares to the holder drawing the squares drawing the pieces and mapping the pieces to the holder as well and we have our constructor function and we have an update function so before we get to those let me just show you how the program actually works so so far we have this it's a chessboard um, I kind of ripped these pieces off chess.com uh, Maybe I'll get my own at some point, but it does nothing. It's just a chessboard. I drew all the pieces on. I drew all the squares on, and you can scale it. Um, which, believe it or not, you have to program that in so you can scale this chessboard however you feel. You can make it. Oops. You can make it like really tiny uh, if you hate chess. So, uh, yeah. For our actual window class the code we got a bunch of stuff right isn't that fun we have these functions i told you just fitting the squares to the holder drawing the squares drawing the pieces mapping the pieces to the holder and we have our, our constructor function so first in our constructor function we are initializing these variables you know basic stuff not really that important uh, we're setting the colors for our chess pieces and this is where we're setting the colors right okay that's pretty simple um we have we're fitting the chest the squares to the holder and then we're going to start loading in all the pieces so here we're just loading in all the textures for the the pieces which is taking it as an input from here to the path to the textures so here's all the the paths to the textures it's a lot because there's 12 um but basically i made i made it this way instead of just having one path uh, so that I can have different skins so like in the future if I want to if I want to you know rip a bunch more assets from a chess website I can have all the different styles of pieces that also goes along with the board color that I can also choose so that's pretty cool um, here we're just loading in all those textures and then here we're looping through um, every single position in this board and we are going to assign uh, our values for our chess pieces to each of those board, like positions in the board. So as you can see here, we have an array of 64 chess pieces to use with this info in it. Um, the reason I chose 64 is because, just look at this, um, there is 64 squares in the chess board. And although there's only 32 possible pieces per chess game, if I ever want to set up a like a a custom position like editing the chessboard, which is a thing on Lee Chess, and yeah, 
it's it's easier to do. I don't I don't have to like make new chess pieces and that's like a big pain or whatever. Um so yeah, let's go back here. Uh here we're just loading in all the info of the chess piece, you know, the piece ID and stuff. If the piece ID is negative one, that means there the piece there's no piece there, it's just blank. So I I told it not to draw. So it's not gonna draw anything if the piece is negative one. Or it is gonna it's gonna draw if it's not negative one. That's what the code does. And so yeah. So then we just map the pieces to the holder. And so that's pretty much our like chessboard completed. Now we have to make this update loop, which will it'll it'll run every frame. So that'll probably run like if you have a good computer like hundreds of times per second. So yeah, every frame this is gonna happen. So we're pulling all the events. So if it was resized, um, we're just doing all the scaling stuff. Basically, yeah. Let me tell you how the scaling works. So here we have a perfect 800 by 800 canvas, I guess. Here we go. let's let's extend it in the x direction. All right. How I made it is if the x is bigger than the y. Um, then I'm going to scale it so that every single side of the chessboard is the same length as the Y axis. Um, so that way it'll like it'll only match up to the Y because otherwise if it matched up to the poles at the, the X then it would just be like super stretched. So same for the Y. So let's say the Y is bigger than the X. Um, it'll match up to the X axis instead of the Y axis. Otherwise, it would be really stretched. So that's basically what this does. And then we're just mapping the pieces again and fitting the squares to the holder. And here, just if the window is closed, then close it. Um, here, we're drawing everything, and they're getting displayed. So yeah, that's the that's the devlog episode one of chess uh, with SFML C++ made by a noob. So. Yeah, the GitHub for this will be in the description. I don't know why you would even get it at this point. It kind of sucks. There's nothing here. Um, but yeah, that's the end of the video. 